Hello everyone, thank you very much for watching today. Today is Thursday the 24th and this is pre-recorded. I'm out of town this week at the Global uh, Century 21 Global Convention in Las Vegas. So today's topic won't be too long today. It is one of my uh, favorites. I have lots of favorites, but this is short and sweet though. Is protecting your time. My time. Ugh, I am OCD as my family and friends and co-workers know about my time. I try to schedule it if it's something. Uh, I know I always have time for emergencies and things that come up. You know, 90% of my day every day is handling things coming in, but I compartmentalize it and schedule it. Usually I'm on the phone or doing something in the middle of something nonstop every day. So one of the things I'm going to give you some tips on is protecting your time, protecting your time, because your time is the most valuable thing you have. Time is money. It is. And where you, what you do with it every day. So you have to protect it. It's like if someone wastes your time, it's them wasting your money. That's the way you've got to think about it during a day that you want to get things accomplished and things to do. Even, even when you're in the middle of not doing something, you might be thinking something like as part of my day, some days, usually in the mornings, I take time to organize in my mind and what I have to accomplish and get, get ready in, you know, not for hours, but I still can't and don't want to do anything during that time. I just want to concentrate and focus on that. So some tips to do that is one, you have to have things in a schedule. Protect your time because if it's not, it's it's not important to you if you don't have a schedule of what you'd want to do, a to dos, a to dos at at certain times. My calendar says appointments, to dos, when I'm going to do to do the things I want to get done within a specific period of time. And of course, I have a, a short list of daily things that I want to accomplish at, within a certain time too. So I have like my actual scheduled calls and those couple things that I want to get done by the end of the day every day. So protecting your time starts by organizing your day because time doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It, you can't just say, oops, this came up. If it's work or personal, um, I'll make up that time somewhere else. If you can make up time somewhere else, you are not filling up your time enough. That's my opinion. If you, all of a sudden an, someone out of the blue, personal or business-wise, takes up a couple hours of your time or, or a couple things, a couple hours of your time that you didn't plan on that day, you didn't have enough things planned, and you've still got everything done that you wanted to get done. These, again, let me just rephrase this. These are work days. These are days that you want to get things accomplished. Not, you know, if you take the day off and hey, you're working a half a day, you're working on a weekend, uh, you know, a Sunday, but you weren't planning on having any showings or something that day, that's a different story. But there's a, a highly productive day that you have scheduled and in order. If we all, as realtors, things come, come in, but you got to plan your day like you know everything that's going to be happening the next day. Does that make does that make sense? That you have to plan your day like nothing new is going to come up. You know exactly what's going to happen. If you're planning your day going, oh, always things come up, so I really don't want to pack in my day with a lot of different things or prospecting or calling or networking or following up because there's always things that are there's going to be calls that come in on my my clients my uh uh you know transactions loan officers just all, you know if you're working on pending transactions there's always going to be things coming up but don't allow them to dictate your schedule like don't allow go i'm just going to you know put things in my schedule that probably will take me 20 minutes but i'm gonna put it down for a whole hour you have 40 more minutes in there. Well, I might have to get some things done or, or figure out some things. Plan your days like nothing new is going to come in. That's kind of how I do it. I mean, I, every day, every half hour on the half hour, I have 
a call, something scheduled. I know most of those calls, and thank you to all of our agents out there. Keep you know, most of the time, keep my calls throughout the day, maybe to 15, 20 minutes, because then I have that little, that little uh, 10, 15 minute or in between each one to get to those things that come in. That's kind of how I do it. You know, every half hour on the half hour, there's something scheduled, and then in between that, I know I have time for those, all of those calls I get, Tony, need your help. This is, uh, this is happening right this second. So I always keep an open. That's why a lot of agents, if you, you uh, if you have gotten my texts before, it's like, hey, call me at nine. Can I call you at 1130? Can I call you about one? Because that's why I'm, while I'm on the phone, I'm looking at my schedule uh, and, and putting in all of those things that are coming in. So I'm a, a OCD time management uh, freak <laughs> when it comes to uh, my day to day. So uh, protect your time. That's that's all I want to know. Be, I want you to, to know today and to remember today and think about all the things you can do in your schedule and things to protect that. Because if not, someone's going to take it up even willingly or you'll let them. I've, 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 I catch agents daily when, when we are on the phone and I'm sorry when I cut things short. I said I get to the point sometimes and would love to talk to you for two hours about life and what's going on, but I have people to help. It's kind of like going in the doctor's office. You know he, has other, he or she has other patients in other rooms waiting for you. You can't talk to your doctor for an hour and a half uh, because they have other patients to, to help. So respect other people's time, I guess, and protect your time. So that's it for today. Hopefully this gives you something to think about. But remember, use me as a resource. Happy to talk to you one-on-one -on -one about this topic and help you out with your daily schedule uh, if you like. Have a wonderful Thursday, and we'll see you tomorrow on Friday. Bye-bye.